Hi everybody, here's Arkady. I'm now in Japan at AEE exhibition and today's topic is break discs. For any technology, a high impact project is something which is very unique because it changes the whole technology and brings it forward. For laser cladding, one of the very important and big drivers in last years was related to break disk application. So let's take a look together and find out what is hidden behind break disk and what impact this application had on the technology. So why break disk or break rotors are named as a high impact project for the whole laser cladding technology. The answer is related to a upcoming Euro 7 norm and the regulations for fine dust emission reductions within vehicles which will be driving on European roads. It, if you look deeper into car and components and you will try to find out what is the most fine dust causing factor, you will be surprised that it will be related to a combination between a wear of pad and a brake disc. So it's essential that there should be a solution which can protect your brake disc surface in a trigeological contact with a pad and ensure that your fine dust emission will be reduced. One of the most attractive ways to do that is with a laser cladding technology which will enable you to produce a thin coating on the surface of your brake disc within less than a minute. And with that coating you not only improve the surface properties in terms of fine dust re emission reduction but also have a strong positive effect on corrosion resistance and also to on the wear resistance. And for the laser cladding coatings, there are puffed materials used which will be then moved to the surface using a laser beam, molten and build a protective layer which has extremely good mechanical, wear and also emission reduction properties. I hope it gives you an impression and if you want to learn more, please feel free to contact me or visit us at Everbreak this September. Get in touch with my colleagues and find out what Metcal Joining and Wedding offers in direction of great discs.